You're listening to the best of the Mantor Guy podcast as we gear up for fall, winter, and a new year into 2021. Enjoy the summer as well as this amazing episode from the past 12 months. Mantor Ministries presents the Mantor Guy podcast. We may talk about football. We could mention bacon. We might reference Rocky movies. We probably discuss the Mantor conferences, but we'll definitely talk about how to grow in our walk with God. Here's your host, the Mantor Guy, Jamie Holden. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Jamie Holden here, and I'm so glad that you decided to listen to us once again this week. Well guys, I hope you all had a great 4th of July, and you were able to celebrate the birthday of the greatest country on earth. Well guys, if you're a regular listener of this podcast, you know that one of my New Year's revolutions was to speak on popular truths. Well, this week is going to be one of those podcasts that we are going to look at a controversial issue and show you why you as a man of God need to stay clear of this issue. So let's get started. All right, so all of you guys know I'm a huge fan of fantasy football. You know, we even do our segments on the podcast, the three and out segments where we give helpful tips to play fantasy football. Um, I personally am part of two dynasty leagues where you keep the same team year after year. And bragging a little bit, I'm the current champ in both of those leagues. Um, I enjoy listening to podcasts on fantasy football. And, you know, I follow these podcasts on Facebook. And I just, I really enjoy fantasy football. I love playing, taking part of it, hanging, being with a bunch of guys, getting together, forming a league, and playing fantasy football together. Well... Recently, I was looking at Facebook one afternoon, and an advertisement for one of those daily fantasy football sites that have become so popular popped up on my Facebook page. And when I say daily fantasy football sites, it's one of those leagues where instead of like drafting a team and it's your team throughout the entire season, it's kind of like you can go and you pay to play every week. You have to pay to get in, and you pick so many different players. And that's your team for that week, and then you can win like lots of money. Basically, they basically it's gambling. And what caught my eye was how many of my social media connections had liked these pages and were taking part of these leagues. I couldn't believe that so many men of God were taking part in these daily fantasy football conferences. And why is that? Well, like I just said, it's gambling. It is so much different to play one of these daily fantasy football leagues, or actually any daily fantasy league of any sport, it's so much different from the fantasy football leagues that we've all played over the years. You know, unlike a Yahoo League or an NFL.com fantasy football league, these leagues are pay to play and you win money if you win. If you don't win, you lose the money that you put in to join the league every week. Guys, that's gambling. You're putting your money up against other people and you're hoping to win to get your money back and you're hoping to also win all their money as well. It is no different than going to Vegas and putting down money on a game. It's gambling. It's a sin. And guys, a man of God should not be doing it. So I want to look at the question of why is it wrong? Isn't it just harmless fun? Um, isn't it your right to use your money in a fun competition? You know, is it really gambling? Well, I want to look at the definition of gambling. A person engages in gambling if he stakes or risks something of value upon the outcome of a contest of chance or a future contingent event not under his control or influence. Gambling then is recognized as any activity in which wealth changes hands mainly on the basis of a chance and with risk to the gambler. So, according to this definition, it's gambling. These daily fantasy leagues are gambling. You're putting something of yours your money, at risk, and the outcome is something you no longer have control over. You can't make a player score a touchdown or make an interception. You can't make a quarterback throw a pass to your receiver instead of another receiver on his team. There's a huge risk that you will not win and you'll lose the money that you put on the line. It is a sin, guys, to gamble. And these daily fantasy football sites are just that, gambling. Even the state of New York, which is one of the most liberal states in the United States, declared that these sites are illegal gambling. And when the websites challenged the legal charge against them, they didn't fight the charge of gambling. They instead fought that it was legal gambling. Okay, now whether it is legal or illegal gambling is way above my pay grade. But the point is that these companies, these websites are on the record as admitting they are gambling websites. 
Guys, I know this has become an unpopular truth, but just because something is unpopular doesn't mean it isn't true. You need to avoid these daily leagues and avoid gambling on football. Now, guys, I know I just can't say this without having some arguments or points to make the case why it's gambling and why it's wrong. So let's look at a few of the reasons why these daily fantasy football sites are gambling and why they're sin. And the first point is, it's unnecessary. All right, I admit, this is my weakest of the arguments I'm going to make, but it is still a true argument. You do not have to take part in these gambling fantasy football activities to have fun playing fantasy football. You know, you can do the free leagues each week with friends. You can bust each other's chops. You can have a cool trophy for the winner. You can find a fun way to embarrass the guy who finishes in last place. And you can enjoy all that fantasy football has to offer without compromising your finances or your walk with God. So why would you want to pursue some other league for money that could cost you financial loss and also cost you separation from God? My second point is, Daily fantasy football is sin because it disregards responsible stewardship. Guys, the Word of God clearly teaches that all things belong to God. Psalms 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Guys, since all things belong to God, people are placed in the position of stewards who must give a proper accounting for everything given to them in trust. We have to understand as men of God that every penny we have belongs to God and he graciously allows us to have it. He gives us his money to supply our needs and help to supply the needs of others via our tithes and our offerings. All of your money belongs to him. So you shouldn't be gambling with God's money. I mean, think about it, guys. Would you go to your work and take your employer's money and bet on fantasy football? We all know that that's frowned upon in the business world. If they caught you, you'd be fired and you'd probably be prosecuted for theft. You know it isn't your money, so you wouldn't gamble with it. You wouldn't gamble with your business's money, so why gamble with God's? Seeing all your finances as God's money and understanding that you need to be good stewards of his money should lead you to understand that it's wrong to use God's money to play these daily fantasy football leagues. That's as plain as simple as I can put it. You're taking God's money and you're using it in a sinful manner and it's not going to please God. Well, guys, I have more arguments here to make of why I believe these daily fantasy football leagues are sin and why we as men of God need to avoid them. I have more persuasive points for you to show you and we're going to look at them right after this break. I know you're going to dig this. Like what you're hearing? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Thanks. Have you been looking for a Bible study that you can work through with your wife? Maybe you want to do devotional time with your daughter. Guys, we have the answer for you. You can buy both the men's and women's edition of Whatever It Takes for $15. This amazing deal is only available at our Mantor Ministries online store. If you go to Amazon, it is $14.99 for just the men's version. So many men are buying both versions and going through them with their wives and daughters. Do not miss this opportunity. Take advantage of this amazing deal today at MantorMinistries.com and click on the online store button. Order your copy today at MantorMinistries.com. Don't forget to visit iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Thanks. Hey guys, Jimmy Holden here, the Mentor Guy. And you know, so often men tell me that they can't afford to use Covenant Eyes. And my immediate response back is, dude, you can't afford not to use Covenant Eyes. For 53 cents a day, you can protect every computer, every laptop, every tablet and cell phone that you and your family own from the trap of internet pornography. I tell them for 53 cents a day or $16 a month, you can make sure your little girls never stumble onto pornography as she uses Snapchat or does any internet searches while doing her homework. For 53 cents a day, you can make sure your son never falls into the trap of pornography or even sees it accidentally while online. I say for 53 cents a day, you can protect your wife from getting trapped in the trap of internet porn and protect your marriage. And I tell them for 53 cents a day, you can help break the cycle of internet pornography that's been holding in your life. Guys, you and your family, and most importantly, your walk with God cannot afford for you not to use covenant eyes. So 
head to mantorministries.com and hit the Covenant Eyes button in the upper right hand corner to get one month of free service. Try it out. I know you're going to love it. You're never going to regret it. Guys, do it today. You can't afford not to have Covenant Eyes be a part of your life. Listen to the Mantor Guy podcast on the go via Apple Podcast and Google Play. Thanks. Hey guys, Jamie Holden here, and I want to tell you that God is moving in our prison systems. And Mantor Ministries, well, we're on the front lines, and you can help. We are giving inmates our books and resources, and guys, the testimonies we're receiving back have been amazing. You know, one person reported that they had 30 men do it, gathering, and they were 25 of them were delivered and set free from anger. Another shows how the men are weekly working together through our books and how men are growing spiritually. They're starting to have devotions and have prayer time and Bible reading in their individual lives, and they're growing. Guys, I could go on and on. Chains of bondage are being broken among our inmates. You can help us reach even more hurting men inside our prison systems when you become a monthly financial partner with Mantor Ministries. You can become a partner with us by going to mantorministries.com slash partner and clicking on the Give Online button. Guys, together we can continue reaching men in our correctional institutions with the life-changing truth of the gospel. Yep, you're listening to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Are you looking for a men's ministry resource that will teach your men the basics of what it means to be a man of God? Well, check out Mantor Ministries' book, Putting on Manhood. With 1 Corinthians 13, 11 as the foundation, Putting on Manhood shows how to put your childish ways behind you and become the men that God designed for you to be. With the help of God's Word, the Holy Spirit, and a band of brothers, you can grow into true godly manhood. Order your copy today at mantorministries.com. You can start today to put on godly manhood. Order your copy today at mantorministries.com. Welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Welcome back, guys, as we continue this discussion of why a man of God should not compromise and play with these daily fantasy football or honestly any daily fantasy sports websites. The third point I want to look at here is that these leagues, they promote greed. Proverbs 13.11 encourages patient work and steady investment. It says, dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. And like it or not, guys, gambling will make you greedy. It's a quick way to make a buck. You know, you put a few bucks down and you set the fantasy lineup and you have the potential to win and to win big. You know you're really good at fantasy football and you're already in your mind spending the winnings you're going to get in your head. You know, you could buy that new iPhone or you get a 75-inch TV to watch the big games on. Um, and all of a sudden, your motives, they become greed. And then you win, and you're holding your winnings in your hand. And I can guarantee you that one, when you win once, you're going to want to win again. Greed will take a foot in your life, and you will take the winnings, and you'll use them to play the game again. And once again, imagining the winnings off this larger amount, what that could buy you. And before you know it, greed is taking charge, and it'll cause you to lose your money. And even more importantly, it's going to cause you to lose your close walk with God. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to be saved anymore, but it's going to damage your spiritual to walk with God. You're not going to be following God in obedience. You're not going to be doing what God calls you to do and living according to his ways. And God can't bless you when you're not walking according to his ways. So, you know, like I said, you don't want to get involved in this because it's going to lead to greed. And the Bible has many verses talking about how God hates greed and how he loves generous, cheerful people. Okay, next. You shouldn't be doing these kind of leagues because they're addictive. I mean, think about it, guys. Why else do they let you try these leagues for free? You know, they put you in a situation where they let you try it, they let you play it for free to try it, give it a try, and they pretty much guarantee you're going to win something. And then once you win, you know, you're hooked. If you listen to every commercial, every internet ad, every podcast ad that promotes these kind of things, they boast that you can play for free or they'll give you your money back if you lose the first time. Guys, they do this because they know if they get you in, if they get you to play, and they give you a small amount to win, they'll have you hooked. The goals of these websites is not to lose money, it's to make money. So they give you a little victory, they hook you, they get you addicted, and they make their millions. And they make the millions, and all this money is based off of your new addiction. 
The saddest thing is millions of families are destroyed each year due to gambling addictions. And make no bones about it, guys. Daily fantasy football addiction is no different than poker addiction, a slot machine addiction, or any other form of gambling. Someone gets you hooked on something, and then they use you to get your money. Actually, guys, they use you to get God's money. And the Bible makes it clear that we're not to be mastered by anything. God is supposed to be the controlling influence in our lives. He is supposed to lead us and guide us. We are to follow Him and His ways. And addiction is not God's will for his children. So you want to not take part in these daily fantasy football leagues where you have to put money on the line and gamble and win because it can lead to becoming addicted to it. And it leads you not to be addicted to Jesus and addicted to God, but addicted to gambling and making money. The Mantor Guy's Final Thought. Well, guys, as we bring this week's episode to a close, I want to share one final thought as to why it's wrong to gamble in any form. But in regards to this week's topic, why daily fantasy football is wrong to gamble with. Guys, every time that you win in one of these leagues, someone else loses. You profit off of someone else's loss, and someone else is hurt. Think about it. I mean, think about it deeper. Really think about it. When you win, the other person's family goes without something. It's harder for them to pay the bills. Their children's do without some need. And this is especially true when you consider that many people gamble because they don't have a lot of money and they're trying to make money quickly. You make money off of their misfortune. You know, when you win, is it really loving your neighbor? Is it helping the poor? Is it being a friend to the downtrodden? I believe I read in the Bible somewhere that we as believers should help the poor, not take advantage of them. It's in the Bible, guys. It's true. And make no mistake about it. Many of the people taking place in these leagues are doing it because they are poor or are struggling to find light at that end of the financial tunnel. And they look at these websites as a way out of their mess as their only hope. They see, I have this huge need. I can't, you know, fill my fantasy myself, but I know I'm pretty good at fantasy football. I could put a couple bucks down here and I can wig big. And it's their hope. Guys, you have the real hope that they need. And it's Jesus. But instead of giving them this hope, you're actually taking their false hope and you're using it against them for your own profit. And that's not the way a man of God should be acting. Now, on the other hand, if you lose, you're hurting your family. People are still getting hurt. When you lose money that can be spent to pay a bill, provide a need, money that can be saved for an emergency, or a trip that can develop memories, you're taking away from your family to give to someone else who doesn't really care about you at all. Say it doesn't affect your family. What about the kingdom of God? What if you invested that same money into your local church or supporting a missionary? These are investments that have eternal value with guaranteed rewards. And as children of God, you need to be making these type of investments, not taking part in these gambling and these websites. Guys, I get it. I know this isn't a popular truth I'm sharing today with you, but it is truth nonetheless. As men of God, we need to be above reproach. I urge you, do not take part in these daily fantasy sports sites. Don't compromise your values and your walk with God by engaging in these activities. Be content to play in a fun, seasonal league where you have a good time with your friends, where there's no money, no gambling, no anything like that involved. Guys, the compromise isn't worth the destruction it brings on others, your finances, and your walk with God. And that's just the word I wanted to bring forth in this podcast as we're getting ready to go into fantasy football season. We're moving into the preseason soon. Um, You know, guys are starting to do their drafts and all that stuff. And the temptation is there. Even if there's basketball, there's baseball, there's golf, any sport you can do these leagues in. I just want to say to you guys, don't fall into this trap. It's just another trap of the enemy designed to trap you, to hinder your growth with the walk with God. And here at the Mantor God Podcast, we are all about helping you become the man of God that you were created to be and to helping you grow in your walk with God. Well, guys, once again, thank you for giving me your time today to listen. 
You know, we'd love it if you took a second and shared this podcast, your social media accounts. We'd love to be able to reach even more men and help them grow in your walk with God. Don't forget, you know, subscribe, leave a five-star rating and a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or iTunes. Um, the five-star rating helps more men be able to find a podcast and find more life-changing truth that help even more men grow in their walk with God. Also, guys, don't forget to visit mentorministries.com, learn more about our conferences, our books, and our resources. Um, but guys, thank you so much for giving us your time this week and for joining us, and we'll see you next week on the Mentor Guy Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Mantor Guy podcast. Be sure to visit MantorMinistries.com to learn more about our books, men's ministry resources, and our Mantor conferences. One more thing before I wrap up this week, guys. You need to head to CovenantEyes.com and sign up today to protect you and your loved ones from the many traps awaiting you on the internet. You know, I am a Covenant Eyes user. I just signed my 69-year-old father up and put Covenant Eyes on his phone and his laptop. I believe in it. It's an amazing tool. It helps you stay pure online. Guys, I encourage you to try it today. If you use the code MANTOR, you get 30 free days. That's 30 free days. What do you have to lose? So head to CovenantEyes.com. Try it today. Like I said, what do you have to lose, guys? The Mentor Guy Podcast, helping men grow in their walk with God.